<laughs> What's up, guys? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back for episode two of Guitar Week, sponsored by our Recording King Guitars. Very happy to be playing all these awesome guitars this week. It's been really fun. I'm sure you guys can imagine what it's like to suddenly have like five brand new instruments in your own studio to play with at your leisure. You know what I mean? It's such a nice... I don't know, it's super nice. This guitar is the RR50VS. This is a resonator guitar. If you don't know, this part right here, this is a resonator. So there's a big cone underneath it with this beautiful cap on top. And um, it gives it that tone, gives it that sort of nasally tone. And it helps it project a lot more. Originally, when these were designed, it was to help compete with a big band. You know, this is before amplifiers and stuff like that. So they would put these in guitars and it would help them uh, compete with an entire big band. I'm talking horns and drums and bass and all that kind of stuff. And the guitar started to get drowned out. And this was one of the ways that in the old days they thought of to help the guitar punch through the mix. So one of the things that makes this resonator a little bit different than the ones that I've typically played in the past is that this is an all mahogany guitar. So mahogany top, mahogany sides, mahogany back all around. If you don't know anything about tone woods, let me give you a quick description. Um, you know, typically you find mahogany on back and sides of lots of guitars. In fact, on four of the five guitars that I'm going to show you this week, they are mahogany back and sides. Um, so it's either mahogany or the other very popular one is rosewood. And so like my Martin guitars have rosewood back and sides. Now they're both great at creating low end and, you know, um, you know, rich low end. Certainly they're both very good at that. But one of the biggest differences, and I have to use an analogy and I, you know, it's sort of hard, but I always think of rosewood more as like a punch you in the chest kind of a low end. And I think of mahogany more as like a, a really cuddly, you know, bear hug from someone that you really like. You know, it's just, it's so, it's so soft and so pleasing. It's very round. Um, it's never harsh, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a simple difference, you know, and you'd really have to sit here and play. I wish I had an all rosewood one to play for you, you know, so you could really hear the difference. But take my word for it. Mahogany is a great super rich low end tone wood. Um, low end meaning like bass, not like it's cheap or inexpensive or something like that. However, this guitar is pretty inexpensive for what you're getting. Um, you know, in the past I've, I've played a lot of, uh, I played a lot of Regals, I played a lot of Nationals, Dobros, re regular resonator guitars like this one. Um, and a lot of those guitars are made out of maple. And the thing I don't like about maple for this is because I kind of suck at playing the slide. So those guitars are brighter and have a lot more high end and they tend to be more brash. So if you make any sort of mistake, um, the overall tone of that guitar, of maple guitars, just sort of, it helps accentuate all your mistakes. Eh, not a big fan of that. Whereas this is all mahogany, so it's a lot more forgiving, I think. You know, you still have to know how to play, but um, I think it's a little bit more forgiving for the mistakes, and I, I really like that about this guitar. Now let me tune this up to a normal tuning so you can hear it, um, you know, some normal chords. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm back into a normal tuning. Um, so obviously one of the other really great things for this would be uh, sort of like a country or a bluegrass sort of a thing, you know. thing if you're a dobro fan or a fan of that tone and you don't know really how to you know use where all the finger picks and use the slide and all that kind of stuff um this is a great way to fake that in your own home recordings you get a tone uh, you get that tone from the resonator now the other thing that clearly this would be great at is the blues and so let me play a little bit of blues for you <laughs> shower 
Sorry, I've been shoveling snow all day, so my hand's a little soft. But uh, anyway, no excuses. I should practice more guitar. That's it. But it's a great guitar, you know. A um, couple of features about this that I think are really worth mentioning is that it has a bow nut from the factory. Yay, bow nut. And then the saddle piece that's under this part that you can't really see um, is made out of maple and ebony, which is another thing you don't really find on instruments or resonator guitars of this price range um, because they're usually all maple and those just tend to wear out faster so the ebony combined with the maple is a nice thing to see under there because ebony is a harder wood and it's going to last longer um, also you know it's a square shouldered guitar so as it hits the 12th fret it's nice and flat in here it's a very pretty style um, pretty design I really like this flat in here I don't know you don't see that too often not with this like flat part right here it's pretty cool I think and of course it's got Grover tuners on the back and one of the best headstocks um, or one of the best inlays for their headstocks is probably my favorite one of all the guitars that I've gotten is this little one with the crown and everything. I think that's really eh, pretty, you know, simple thing. Um, but you guys, you know, I wanted to say one thing because on the Facebook page yesterday, someone wrote in, um, and you know who you are, I'm not going to drop any names here, but <laughs> you said, uh, you know, the great guitars, but I'm going to hold on to my Taylor. Or I'm going to stick with my Taylor guitar. So I wanted to clarify that in no way, shape or form am I saying sell your favorite guitar and replace it with a recording king. <laughs> no way am I saying that. Obviously not, right? What I am saying, though, is that if you're like me and you like to collect guitars, but you can't necessarily afford some of the vintage stuff that's out there, but you'd really like to have some of these guitars just for, you know, for recording purposes or for, you know, live purposes, whatever your purposes are... Recording King Guitars makes excellent guitars at affordable prices, and, you know, there, there are all these, like, cool vintage designs, you know? So you don't really have to kill your bank account to build up a nice collection of nice guitars anymore, you know? In the past, you kind of did. You, had to, you really did have to go spend a ton of money buying all these really expensive guitars, but now... Um, you know, I'm going to have a bunch of recording kings in my house. I think I'm going to go out and buy a bunch and, um, you know, whatever. I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend these to my friends and people who like to collect guitars because you don't have to spend a lot of money and that's it, you know? So I just wanted to clarify that. So... <laughs> You know, that's all it is. It's a super cool resonator guitar. If you're in the market for a resonator, definitely look at this one right here by Recording King. Um, I would recommend it to anybody I know who's looking for a resonator. So there you go. All right. So you guys, that's it for now. Check out their website, recordingking.com. There's all sorts of different instruments. I'm just going to show you five, but they have so many different guitars on their website. So please check them out. And, um, of course, lots of comments below, and on the Facebook page, we're over there all week, I'm there all the time, and uh, discussing Guitar Week this week is what's going on over there, we're all discussing guitars, and if you're a guitar guy, get over there, join the conversation, alright, talk to you guys later, see ya!